Hey, folks, I want to do a small little, try to keep it brief. We deal with choices every day, right? Every day. We deal with choices, and lots of our choices have to do with life and death, right? And I like what, um, uh, I've been watching this, uh, uh, Steve Searfoss, um, Free Will. So we have, it's a great study, it's amazing, and one of the things that I like that he says about free will is that you have to have a definite choice and you have to be capable of making the choice and you have to be educated enough to make the choice. And I believe he said that. He may have not may have not said that. But he uh he definitely said in free will. And I don't think free will has to do with how educated you are. It's just whether you have a choice or not. And the choices, you make your choices and also in order for it to be free will, there has to be consequences to the choices. And so I really dug that. I really dug, the one, one of the parts that I learned about it is there has to be consequences to the choices. Every adult knows that you have to have consequences to your choices. Else it's not a choice. It's like, I make a choice and nothing happens. So what's the point of making a choice? then there's no free will if you don't have a choice. I can go right, and that will lead me to a particular place. If I go right, it's not going left, okay? If I go left, I can't, it's not going right. You know, some people want to walk right down the middle and not make a choice or not have any consequences or anything. That's a different story. The Bible says, if you're lukewarm, I spew you out of my mouth. You're neither hot nor cold. Or as, as somebody said, you're not cold enough to drink, not, not hot enough to boil water, you know, not hot enough to cook rice or something like that. That's, <laughs> so, um, so, so lukewarm is, is just not good. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that's the thing. Choices. We have choices. Now, every day of our life, we have choices. We have a choice whether we're going to get up and go to work. Okay. What happens if we decide not to go to work? Then the bills don't get paid. We get fired from the job. We can't feed ourselves. We can't take care of our household. That's a choice. We live with that choice every single day. We deal, we deal with choices every minute of the, of the day. Every minute of the day. And lots of times we deal with multiple choices, you know. So, so uh, you know, we deal with, uh, you know, it's a choice, you know. Um, here's a great example. Uh, a choice to um, whether if there's uh, drugs on the table or a needle on the table uh, uh, with heroin in it. We have a choice whether we pick up that needle shoot in an arm, you know, you know, basically it's a choice. Let's say, you know, not after, <laughs> the sentence like that, after you've done it, you, you know, you got to keep doing it. It's a slave, it's an enslaver. You're jailed into that particular choice. You know, it's like, you know, you don't have a choice not to be, <laughs> not to be a junkie after you made the choice to do it. You know, some choices are, binding <laughs> you know once you basically sign your name on the dotted line you are committed <laughs> you know whether you want to or not you know you can't just all of a sudden oh i've made this choice now i don't want to suffer the consequences i don't want to be responsible for how it affects on my life so you know you have to deal with the consequences okay so there was a clear, obvious choice given in the Garden of Eden. The choice was, you know, whether you eat this apple or not. Okay, now what I like about the choice was, the choice was kind of tainted. You know, we were already, you know, it was a little, the choice was weighed in our favor. You know, we were already experiencing the goodness of God. You know, our choice was not from, 
you know, a burning hell. <laughs> you know, maybe a, a lot of people would probably, you know, maybe that may have worked for us or worked against us. I don't know. You know, people, I'm sure people can debate that if they want to find ways to spend their time uh, or waste it. But, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we had a very, very simple choice. Now, you would think that choice would be obvious. But I, you know, I think, you know, it's like telling the kid, you know, not to do drugs when everybody is saying, you know, it's a choice. Oh, this is great. You're going to love it. Do drugs. Do drugs. It's like, you know, what, you know, you know, you know, once you've committed to it, it's like, you know, you tell a virgin, oh, go ahead and have sex. It'll be okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Blah, 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 blah. Once you've had sex, you can't get your virginity back. You know, it's just, that's it. You know, you go, you know, once you find out what it's all about, it's like once you have sex and you can't, and you get AIDS, you know, you know, you know, you can't just say, oh, well, you know, hey, I don't like that idea. That was a bad idea. Uh, undo, you know, go on your computer, undo, redo. <laughs> you know, it don't work like that. Okay, we don't have that option in any other point in our life. Okay, the choice in the Bible was pretty much very much the same. You know, it's like here is the corral with the sheep in it and a shepherd in, in there. And he's saying, don't go out of the corral. You know, I've got a fence around you. Don't go out. There's a bad wolf on that other side. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> but the wolf is saying, come on over here, come on over here. You know, it's more fun. The grass is greener over there. The grass is greener. <laughs> and of course, you know, you know, we being sheep or whatever, you know. <laughs> I think, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I probably have a sense of humor. I pretty much say that uh, uh, <laughs> we're kind of dumb, you know, because we make bad choices. We make bad choices. And, you know, I used to want to play bad and one. I would have done that. But we make bad choices every single day. Every single day. Lots of us make bad choices. And some of us don't ever learn from our mistakes. You know, what can you do? You know, some of us don't learn. And we know the choice is bad. You know, we cho the choice is bad. And so, you know, but, uh, you know. so I just, you know, I just, I just wanted to, uh, to just reiterate that, you know, the choices were pretty simple, pretty simple, very straight, you know, uh, you know, if you, you know, and, and we get mad because, you know, we want to be lukewarm sometimes. We want to say, well, I, I'm ignoring the choices. It's like going to school and saying, well, you know, hey, I don't, I don't want to take the test. Or I don't want to go to school. I really, like, it's like, I have this old saying, like, you can't do nothing. It's impossible to do nothing. You know, because every choice or even the lack of making a choice is a choice, you know. So, you know, even if we don't, you know, just because we don't want it don't mean it's not going to happen, you know. Like, oh, I'll close my eyes in the world, you know. <laughs> you know, children do that. <laughs> you, know? you ever come up to a kid and a little baby in a crib and, and you're scaring them? <laughs> and so they just figure they close their eyes. And so then, you know, or, or <laughs> ever ask a kid something and they, and you say to them, uh, uh, did you do that? And they're like, no. And they're lying, right? They don't want to get in trouble. So they just close their eyes and they figure, you know, the problem will go away. You know, like if we, you know, you like, well, well, uh, I just won't take the test or I just won't pay my bill. <laughs> And, you know, I just ignore the problem, you know. You know, it's just a point. Just just something to talk about. But uh, there's, yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Sorry I haven't blogged it, but, uh, you know. Something to toss out there, you know. Uh, seeing some of the blogs and they were kind of humorous and just 
thought I'd have a little, add a little humor to it. Anyway, so anyway, uh, you know, life choices are simple. Life choices are simple. What, what is really nice about the Bible is the shepherd goes out and even though the sheep walked out among the field and yes, yeah, some of them got devoured but, uh, by the wolf, uh, you know, he goes and see what sheep want to come back in to the corral. He keeps the door open. It won't always be open, but, you know, while it is, you know, the choice is yours.